All right. Today, um, I want to talk about the kingdom of heaven again and what it is, what it means, and how we get there because uh, that is everything that we strive for. Um, anyway, in Matthew chapter 13, um, at verse 35, it says, all these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parables, and without a parable he spake not unto them, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables, I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. And when this realization comes to you, when the mysteries of the parables are uncovered in a way that um, makes everything make a lot more sense. You know, it's like there are, it's like it is hidden. It's hidden in plain sight, the, um, the depth of wisdom. And not just in the Bible, that's the thing, is that when the revelation happens for you, you see what's hidden in everything. And it's difficult for me to explain that, but it's like the, it's like reading and understanding all the layers at the same time. And I, I like, I don't want to say all, I mean, I'm sure there are more, there are things that I'm not getting, but it's, um, it's like reading it all at once. Um, and that's important because when you look, you know, all the way through history and how history is passed down, um, it's not just in the written word it is as far as uh, textbooks and things like that. Um, but stories are carried through um, symbols, through uh, you know, music and art of every culture. Um, and so there's a lot that's also passed down by word of mouth. And so much is hidden throughout history that when you <laughs> look at it, and there's a lot of history in the Bible, but it's like when, when these things start to come together and you start to see the common threads which is the same, you know, the same way things are woven into the Bible. The same reason that Jesus speaks in parables is because, you know, the stories um, are easy to remember. You know, you remember the characters. You remember um, what their part was. You, um, instead of just, you know, blurting out all the wisdom of the world, we carry it in our minds, in our memories, and... Um, through the art world, through the history world, through our music, um, through our food, through our family traditions. Um, and so life has layers like that. And all these uh, mysteries, all these hidden things are literally hidden in plain sight. And that's what I think the, you know, the beginning of the revelation is, is that there is a story that has never really been lost. At least, like, maybe that's, you know, part of what Jesus came back to, to retell so that we'd have these parables, you know, to relate to the rest of everything. I don't know. But it's, um... Maybe I'm not explaining it very well, but let me just let, let, let's let him explain it. <laughs> he does a better job. So, um, he says, son of man shall send forth his angels and they shall gather out of his kingdom, all things that offend and them which do iniquity. Um, so he says, 
in verse 44, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goes and sells all that he has and buys the field. Um, because it's that precious, and it is like when you see the value in, it's like the wisdom to know the difference, like that's what God gives you. And though, you know, you can memorize these things forever and ever, but when it finally hits you like when you finally see the value in this wisdom you want nothing more you want nothing more and you know above all relationships you want that relationship with the most high god because the wisdom is so pure and so valuable that you know that that is your salvation that you know that is what jesus came back here to tell us um, that it's, you know, it's not about the rules. It says, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant uh, who seeketh godly pearls, who when he found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. And that's like, like there's nothing, there's nothing that you want more because you know that there's nothing that you need more. Um, and that's, I think, when you know you're there, when you think you know that, like, you know, you know, you know, that even though you still feel, you still have desires, you know what you want. And you can pray to God for it, but you know enough to say that I want to do God's will. If that's not his will for me, if that's not the good thing that he has for me, then I don't want it because I know better. And... You want more of what's better. You know, it gets better and better. And I can't describe it any other way. It's like, there. it doesn't matter when the world says no to you. It doesn't matter because you know that God says yes to you. That everything is yes for you. If you trust him and you say, this is what I want, but, um, you know, I want what's for my greatest good and for the greatest good of, of everyone and that's what he will lead you to. And it's better for you. And it is better for everyone. Um, it just takes time. And it's like you've got to let go of thinking that you know best. Even though it is inside of you, you know, you're combating your ego the whole time that is programmed by the world. And taking in all the information that is not of the spirit world. Um, you know, and it's here to, like protect your interests in the world okay let's call it that so that's your survival of the fittest instinct that's where your competition comes from that's where um you know envy jealousy and, and those things are really meant to protect you to preserve what you have and to preserve your life until you come to the realization that what really matters is um, the whole. So it is, it's like, it's like a, an entire battle of overcoming the ego and thinking that it's all about preserving you because it's, it's not about preserving you. And you've got to go into you to really like let go of all these things that are in the way of you seeing that it's about us. Um, and that's enough for now. That's what I have to say. Um, yeah. And uh, <laughs> that that's all every story in this book is getting to. Like that's what's behind everything. And if you, you know, look at every good thing, like every... I don't know how to describe what I'm saying. Like I said, thank God we have the Bible because Jesus says things uh, really well. Um, anyway, that's it. And it's a really good feeling. And it's like there's so much gratitude and so much happiness. And like it, it does not matter what the world throws at you. You have this peace and this comfort and this like knowing that like uh, God is taking care of everything. So um, I love you. That's it. I don't know how else to say it. 
Uh, have a wonderful Sunday. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm open to all communication if you have anything to say about that. Have a great day.